Hi guys, um, it's Rachel. I know it's been a really, really long time um, since I last made a video. Um, I kind of have been going through a bit of a rough patch um, and spent a bit of time in hospital as I'm sure quite a few of you are aware. Um, I'm, doing, I'm doing okay. <laughs> I'm still not quite 100%. Um, but thankfully didn't relapse with anything like the eating disorder or anything so um, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm okay and I just kind of contacted some of the girls um, and I really felt it was important to kind of come back and make these videos um, because I do feel I still have a lot to say on, on this kind of topic of eating disorders and um, I I know that you know these girls who make the videos and stuff are making a real difference to people and it's kind of nice to be involved in something like that um yeah um I'm kind of a bit anxious because <laughs> I haven't made a video in about like six months or something like that um so kind of bear with me if I'm if I'm, if I'm a bit shaky or I'm not articulating myself too well um I know that the new setup is um for us to be all looking at the same topic in the week um and I know this week that we're looking at dealing with other people um, and especially the issue of being people pleasers which I know a lot of you can probably relate to um, and kind of worrying about what people think of us or what they're saying about us um, and how unhealthy this can be for us but also why it's important to disregard what others think and focus on ourselves um, to be strong individuals um, I guess my most recent example has been the therapeutic relationship I've had with my um, psychiatrist who's also my psychotherapist and this time when I got very poorly the relationship broke down and part of what I've struggled with since and even now kind of struggle with is as a patient I wanted to be this perfect patient as well and I wanted to keep my therapist happy and I wanted to keep the people who were treating me happy and I very much felt that when I kind of you know had my breakdown again that I was kind of disappointing people and letting people down and rather than focusing on myself and what was going on with myself I was so busy kind of feeling bad about not making my family happy, not making my friends happy, not me making my doctors happy and that was a real battle for me because that kind of took over um, and it all became about other people and partly why I left the channel, I, you know, I left Facebook, I, I really sort of cut myself off from sort of everybody other than my family to be honest and not even them really was because I just I knew that I had to stop getting involved in in trying to keep everybody happy and and that's what friendships are and that's what relationships are of course you want to make other people happy and you want to please them and I think that's normal and and I think that certainly when we struggle with eating disorders and other mental health problems a big part of who we are and what we do is about putting other people first we quite often are in a very caring role more often than not the ones who nurture other people and try to protect other people and I think within all of that we can lose ourselves and lose focus of what we need um, and when this therapeutic relationship broke down I, I did kind of have a choice in my head it was kind of like I can let this destroy me or I can let it make me stronger and what I had to do is I had to disregard all of the thoughts I had, negative thoughts I had about myself or that other people had about me, about how I was failing or that I was disappointing everybody and letting everybody down. And I had to let that go. And I had to say, you know, I need to make choices myself. And that's something that sits very uncomfortably with me. Um, ever since I was a child, you know, I've, I've tried to keep everybody happy and the person who I kind of am most like that with is my mum, incredibly protective of her, would do anything for her quite literally and obviously I'm 29, you know, going on 30 and, and I know that she tries to protect me and when we don't 100% kind of agree and I, and I feel like I'm not pleasing her or, or kind of... Um, worrying about oh god what is she thinking is she thinking this is she thinking that um 
that I've had to take a stand against that because I have realised and more so over these past kind of five months that the only way I'm going to be well and remain well is to do things for myself um, and that's been really hard it's been really really difficult to make decisions and choices based on what makes me happy not what makes everybody around me happy and I think that <laughs> It's a very, very scary thing. Sorry, I can just tell that my necklace is all over the place. It's a very, very scary thing to do and something that, like I've said, sits incredibly uncomfortably with me. Um, and yet, as much courage and strength as that is taking, I know that I have to focus on myself and the only way I'm going to be strong and remain strong is to focus on myself. Um, going back to kind of my childhood really you know I was a competitive gymnast and that was all about pleasing the coaches and I remember being in school and wanting to make the teachers happy and then coming home and wanting to make my family happy and that's you know extended itself into a lot of my relationships um, not just friendships but kind of relationships relationships as well um, and it being more about the other people and a person and, and, and keeping them happy um, I think that it is lovely to be a kind and generous person and to want to make people happy. I like making people happy. I love to send a card to somebody that I know will make them smile or a bunch of bunch of flowers. But I have to I have to step back from that and sort of say, right, am I doing this for acceptance or for somebody to love me more or to make these people happy or am I just doing it because I want to make that gesture? And I respect and love that person and want to do that. And I think that's the difference. Um, by, by not worrying about what other people think doesn't mean that we have to disregard what they say. It means that only we can choose how we live our lives because ultimately we're the ones who have to live with them and we're the ones who have to deal with the consequences and if all we ever do is do what other people want us to do because that makes them happy we're ultimately not going to be happy and, and that in itself is incredibly unhealthy and I think we can take on board what other people say you know I've got some amazing friends and family and you know I listen, I do listen to what they say and I do process that and just because I don't do exactly what they've maybe advised me to do doesn't mean I'm not taking on board what they say but it does mean that I'm, I'm, I'm taking a step back and saying right I need to do what Rachel needs to do. That shift in me has been bigger than any shift over the past six months than over the last few years of recovery. Um, even in my recovery a lot of it was about making other people happy and what happened this summer was very much about the academic side of things as well and trying to be this like perfect person and this person who just keeps everybody happy and the reality is is that none of us can do that and we might feel we have the capacity to do that and it doesn't mean we can't help people but it does mean that we're going to just end up incredibly unhappy um, if we don't do things for ourselves. And as I, you know, I've, I've just said over and over, me making the decisions I'm making at the moment about how I live my life, whether I'm in therapy or not, whether I go down the route of training to be a clinical psychologist, the relationship that I'm in, the friendships that I have, the people I stay in touch with, they have to be decisions that I make and there have been disagreements at home or with other people but this is about me and that doesn't make you selfish it it doesn't make you a bad person because you, you you're looking after yourself it just means that we cannot run around trying to please people all the time and that is just synonymous with eating disorders and it just it just makes us feel worse and you know also if all we do is try to please people we end up just feeling incredibly disappointed as well because we exert so much energy into a person or a thing that we feel like we're getting nothing in return 
and so we extend even more and more energy because we just want to please that person we want to be accepted by that person and it's kind of like right hang on you know i'm putting all this energy into this person i'm i'm trying to i want them to like me more or love me more or or, or, or i, I want to just keep them pleased and happy and and you know we we lose sight of ourselves and we forget about who we are and what we are and it is only then when we take a step back that maybe when we've taken that step pe back people can appreciate actually what we do do for them and then it becomes a much more balanced relationship and I think that that for me that's the kind of key word really is balance because if all we do is try to please other people there is no balance because there's no back and forth in relationships friendships whatever are about give and take and, and I think that's only achieved if, if we try to keep ourselves happy and alongside maybe keeping other people happy. I hope I've made some sense guys Um I have struggled to kind of articulate myself a little bit because it's kind of weird making videos again but um, I'm hoping that it's nice to see me back on your screens and I wish you all a great week so take care lots of love bye.